This is a video review for a material creation course which you can find over at winfox.com. I have been working with them to take a look at some of their courses and give my opinion on them. A few weeks ago I did a review on one of their stylized environment courses and this week I want to change things up by taking a look at this material creation course. This course primarily shows how to create realistic textures, but fear not as most of the material here can be very much applied to stylized artwork as well. This course was created by Martin Pietras, who has worked as a material artist at many different studios such as Amazon and PlayStation, where he worked on The Last of Us 2. He has also presented at Seacraft, where in 2017 he did a presentation on material creation workflows using Substance Designer and Substance Painter. The first thing I want to mention about this course is that it's very much a beginner friendly course. Everything is presented in a very step-by-step -step fashion, so if you have no prior knowledge of the programs used, that should not be a problem. The course is primarily focused on material creation within Substance Designer, but there is a lot of good information here too on how to apply these materials to a scene, which is created in Maya and later imported to Unreal 4, where a final render is made. The way the course is broken down is with a simple introduction as well as a lesson on how to go about preparing before starting the project, where things like how to look for references and things to look for are discussed. After that, it's pretty straightforward. The next few chapters are step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a variety of different materials in Substance Designer. Even though I have used Substance Designer for a while, I did find myself learning some new techniques and tricks that I will definitely use in the future for my own work. Every chapter of materials focuses on every step of the material creation process and also includes a very nice final lesson on rendering and things to look for while looking at a render as it pertains to the materials and different settings. There are 8 different materials which are made in total including an IV one which you can use to learn how to make foliage for things like ivy or other vegetation. After all the materials are made, focus is shifted towards making some simple models in Maya for which the materials will be used. The modeling itself is pretty basic and you can very much follow it with any other 3D program. In this course, the materials and lighting do the heavy lifting in terms of visuals, so the modeling section should be very easy to follow even for beginners. After that, everything is imported into Unreal, where there is a chapter on how to do many things there such as creating materials with tessellation and different parameters, lighting and layout, decals, working with bridge assets, and finally the final render. There's definitely very good information on the Unreal side of this course, which is very beneficial and important to learn as well. As someone who enjoys making materials, although be it stylized, I found myself really enjoying seeing different ways of achieving various different results. I also learned some pretty good tricks for how to set up materials in Unreal. The lighting section in Unreal and seeing it all come together was also a high point in this course. I think material creation is something many artists can benefit from, especially anyone looking to get into environment art and this course is definitely one I would recommend. Even if you're not looking to create materials, I think the Unreal 4 section of the course is very much worth watching. I'm going to leave a link in the video description for you guys to check this one out. Also, if anyone watching this has already gone through this course, I think it would be very beneficial for you to leave your thoughts on it in the video description, as I think it's important to get different perspectives from different people. Alright everyone, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe, buy me a burrito, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.